Welcome back to TV Toastmasters. Tonight, we are talking about the personalized economy, gift giving in a way that sends a message from you to your friends, to your loved ones, that you've thought deeply about what will make them feel special. So I'm really happy to be joined tonight by Tangie Summerhill Bishop, the owner of Happy Baskets. Welcome, Tangie. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So tell us a little bit about what Happy Baskets is. Happy Baskets is a company that creates smiles. We've been creating mm -hmm. smiles since 2000. Uh, we make or we create unique gifts for individuals. And really, that's what it's about, is making people happy. Uh, when receiving a gift, most people are happy, but there's a little something extra because we have talked with the clients and found out a little bit about the person that's receiving the basket, and so we're able to personalize it, whether they like a red wine or, or white wine or champagne or whatever it may be. And so it's, it's, we're able to customize a basket that's just for that individual. Okay, so we're talking baskets. Right. Is that all you do, baskets, or you do extra? Do other things. And baskets, you know, people think like the wicker baskets. Right. Well, baskets come in all forms, mm -hmm. whether that's a tray, a wooden box. Uh, it can come, we also do flowers. If people want to send a flower or two, we can do that as well. Uh, really, we just do a variety of things. We have, I have a, a basket that also has like a stuffed animal. It's a duck that I do a basket out of that. So, for like an Oregon fan? Right, exactly. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So how did this get started? I mean, you're not the original owner. No. Yeah. It was started over tw uh, 20 years ago right. uh, with a lady by the name of Robin who she wanted to do something extra. She'd owned other businesses in the past and she loved creating and making baskets for her families. Mm -hmm. And so she just put it out there and it took one order and she was hooked. So why did you jump in and take it? What motivated you? What motivated me? Well, I was a client, uh, mm -hmm. and I tell that story a lot to other uh, clients that I have that have mm -hmm. used her previously. And I, like, I was just like you. I would use, you know, call her up and say, "I need baskets for this occasion or that occasion." And for me, uh, it was one of those. I was at that point in my career. I wanted something new, something different. And I had been in marketing over 20 years. I love marketing and was just looking for that next challenge. And so in talking with Robin, it was a match that was just made in heaven, really. She was looking to retire and sell the business, and I was looking to start something new and branch off, and it just really, it really was an amazing transition. Okay, so gift baskets, right? So if I were to call you and say, hey, you know, my, my sister just had a baby in Tennessee. Talk to me, how would you, determine like what should go in that basket all right well what we would do is talk about did she have a boy or girl um, did she have one trip you know triplets or you know how many babies are we talking about <laughs> we need three baskets then, <laughs> right? Right? exactly yeah, so. or one really big basket <laughs> so uh, just kind of find out about them uh, do, are there other siblings because you know when people receive a baby gift it those, there's other children involved as well and so we ask, you know, is, is there an older, younger sibling? Because the younger siblings don't always understand why the baby's getting all the attention. So if that's the case, what we do is we do add a little toy or something special for the brother or sister. So that way, when the gift comes, it's not just all about the baby, um, but it's about the brother and sister as well. So that's something that we try to incorporate as well. Also, remembering the mom. You know, again, you've just given birth. You know, it's a little baby. It's great. It's a wonderful time, but you are tired. You are hungry. You want, you know, you want some your body back. You want something, and so we try to include something for the mom as well. Again, and we get that information by talking to the person. Like if you were to call, we would ask you some things about the mom and and um, what she likes and doesn't like, and so that way we can include that in the basket as well. So you've thought this through. I mean, if if, if I call saying I want a basket for my sister who just had a baby, you've already thought about like, well, what are the other members of the family, the other kids, what do they need? Right. We try to be inclusive. So where did you get that empathy? Where did you get that awareness of working with the customer and thinking larger than just the sale to the customer, but their whole environment, their family? I would say it's one of those things that's just kind of in me. I just, I've always been that way. I've always been caring. Uh, in my former life as a boss, I just, I, I, empath I have a lot of empathy for other people and uh, want to make other people happy 
and you know how can I do that so it's one of those things that I've been that way throughout my entire life uh, and I just I, I have a caring spirit and so this is just one way that I can carry that out and I can touch a lot more lives. Yeah. So you're an international businesswoman because Happy Basket not only serves <laughs> the United States, Canada? Yes, we'll, we'll, we will ship wherever UPS delivers. So we have clients that up in UPS Canada. UPS delivers worldwide. Right? I know. So we can, you give us an address, we will get the basket there. What's the most exotic place you've ever had to deliver to? Oh, just in, in Quebec, Canada has been the exotic, <laughs> most exotic place so far. But we are willing to, to explore and ship wherever. Absolutely. International Space Station, maybe? Uh, no. You know what? Why not? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> okay, so what, I mean, what's the most popular requested type basket for what occasion? Uh, typically, it's a closing basket. Uh, when people are either closing on a, a loan or a house, sell for a mm -hmm. house, um, that's a, the typical basket that we get a request for, and it usually is filled with wine. Um, so it's, I have a nice, uh, so I do have my liquor license, so I can sell beer and wine as well. So, um, but yeah, I would say a wine basket is probably my most requested basket. For a home, home closing. For a home, Somebody yep. is moving into a new home, what a celebration. Yes. Now, you mentioned wine. Um, certainly, if you're shipping across the country, there are some places you can't ship to, right? Well, you can't ship alcohol to? Right. So I can ship across borders, but there are some states that just won't allow it. Mm -hmm. And so when people do call in and they're like, I want to ship um, something to Nebraska, for example, it would be, okay, can we, and they want to ship alcohol, it'd be, can we ship something else instead? Can we ship some sparkling mm -hmm. cider or something else in its place? Because there are some states that we cannot ship to. So you're and all aware of all those rules, the 50 states, and knowing so that the customer doesn't get in trouble for... Right. getting wine oh, the, delivered to the house. Oh yeah, the the client would never get in trouble. <laughs> it falls on me. Yeah, and even with UPS, um, you have to label it that somebody over 21 has to be home to sign for it and it's labeled on the box as well. So it's clearly marked that no one under the age of 21 could um, accept that package. Got it. So we, I start off by talking about the, the, you know, the personalization economy. Uh, that Yours is a business that really speaks to what, like one of the major trends in our economy, that people want something that's special or unique or designed just for them. Yeah. Right. Um, tell us about that. Where, where's this trend going? Well, we're in a me society. We want something, people want things quick and easy, but they don't want mass produced. Um, a lot of my clients will say, I want stuff local. Because I, I can get stuff shipped from all over the world, just like I can ship all over the world, I can receive items from all over the world. Uh, but a lot of people, like just for example, honey. Um, honey is a product that you can buy internationally. Uh, but my clients in particular, they like the fact that it's a local appeal. So it's one of those things that, so I'd say the trend is people want local, kind of the farm to table kind of concept. They want that in their baskets, if possible. There's sometimes I can't. I can't do that, but uh, I try for the most part to, you know, provide that type of product. Got it. So, um, a question, do you do corporate accounts as well? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, is it like, do you do employee recognition baskets? What might go, what might go into an employee recognition basket? Uh, what would go into employee recognition basket would be, um, again, goodies. And what's nice is to, again, know a little bit about the employee that's receiving them. Do they have nut allergies? Therefore, you would not put any nuts in there. Uh, is it somebody that loves chocolate? Or are they a diabetic? If they're a diabetic, then I have sugar-free options as well. Or they're gluten-free, then we have gluten-free items also. So it's one of those things that uh, we have goodies of all types now. And instead of just putting, you don't always have to put goodies in. Let's say they're a hunter or they like to barbecue. Well, then we have items that can go into a basket for, for an appreciation at a variety of price points that would have that would deal with barbecuing. So you have two daughters, yes. age 12 and 8. <laughs> what, uh, you, you, I'm sure you're doing baskets for tweens and preteens <laughs> and stuff like that. If you were to design a basket for your daughter, what, what should go in there? Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, for my youngest, it would have to do it had have to be unicorn related. She loves yeah. unicorns. So it would be a basket that is filled with 
anything unicorn related, whether that's um, bubble gum or candy, uh, t-shirts. She would love pajamas with <laughs> unicorns on them. So that would be something that uh, my eight-year-old would love, would absolutely love. Okay, we'll have to remember that. When's your birthday? <laughs> In December. <laughs> December, oh, okay. <laughs> so so if, if people want to find out more, how, where can they go to learn more about Happy Baskets? Well, we do have a website. It's www.happybaskets.com. Uh, it's currently somewhat under construction, so, but there are some items already on there, and soon it will be up to date and have everything on there that we can offer. So uh, what's your plans for the future? I mean, this sounds like an idea that can be franchised. <laughs> are you thinking about that? You know, it's funny that you said that. Yes, um, that is something that even the previous owner had kind of been approached uh, about and the idea of franchising. And that is something that I do have in my long-term plans is to right now, after owning it for a year, I've, I've learned a lot. I have fallen in pit holes in, and, you know, stumbled over things, but I've, it's all constant learning. And my intention is to learn and make it a seamless process so that someone in another state could take the idea could take the concept and run with it and be successful. Well, I wish you best of luck. Thank you. you know? um, and right, taking place right here in, in Oregon. Yes. So we, we love homegrown business and we're going to love to watch where you go with this. And, Thank you. And maybe like, you know, you'll have 50 billion served just like McDonald's as well. <laughs> so. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank Tanji for joining us tonight. Um, once again, happy baskets, the personalization economy, the idea of giving a gift that really impacts your loved one, your friends. So once again, Michael Brand with the Oregon City Chamber of Commerce. Um, thank you for joining us. Let's get to work. I joined Toastmasters to improve my speaking, listening, communication, and leadership skills. Toastmasters gave me incredible confidence. 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 Great listening skills. Poise. Great leadership skills. Leadership skills. The ability to speak in public. Strength. A captive audience. Quality feedback from the more experienced Toastmasters. Toastmasters really helped me improve my listening skills. Sales skills opportunities to go to different groups and widen my whole horizon. Toastmasters has given me a better, a more focused me, and I'm a much better listener. Toastmasters is fulfilling. It's a great place to fail your way to success. Wonderful way to meet people. Networking. Strength. It's addictive. It's a club of self-improvement. It's an experience, it's a ride that you won't forget and you'll enjoy it every step of the way. Toastmasters helped me land a kick butt job. I sang at one of my table topic speeches and people liked it and applauded. My business is doing great and I'm very, very grateful to Toastmasters. It's been a great experience for me. Thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Toastmasters, for giving me so much confidence. Thank you, Toastmasters, for everything. Welcome to an opportunity to take the next step of your professional speaking journey. I want you to be honest with yourself. Have you ever wished you were a star in a television show or at an event where the media is interviewing bystanders and you are wanting to be picked to give your opinion of the event? Or even in the smallest sense, you're at a sports game and secretly hope that your smiling face would appear on that big jumbo screen TV? But the jumbo screen always finds the fans with the painted faces. And you think to yourself, maybe next time. Well, what if I can offer you a chance to be on TV? Would you take it? That is what I want to offer you now. I'm Dottie Love, associate TV producer and director. 
Toastmasters International is one of the largest organizations whose mission is to help improve your speaking skills. And District 7 is expanding your opportunities to do speaking via television. We have four fully equipped television studios and TV Toastmaster broadcasts to over 500,000 homes, plus a YouTube channel. Who knew? We want to invite you to take advantage of using media and television, either in front or behind the scenes. Let me share a few options that you have. First, you can be a guest on a show, highlight your business or hobby or your community interest, anything you're passionate about, be a featured guest. Secondly, you can train to be a host on an ongoing TV segment. We will train you for that. Third, what about creating your own talk show? We will train you in, for that as well and give you access to a community media studio to do just that. Or lastly, be behind the scenes, either running a camera or editing shows. You decide which avenue is best for you and our TV Toastmasters team will help you to navigate to get the most out of your media experience. Personally, I've done them all. I started as a guest, went from to hosting, up to directing my own TV show. I don't tell you this to impress you. I tell you this to impress upon you that your personal growth with Toastmasters is directly related to what you take advantage of. And I encourage you to be bold in looking for opportunities to stretch and grow. If this intrigues you, or if you have club members who you think that might be interested in this, please contact us here at TV Toastmasters. I'm Dottie Love, and you can reach me or any of us in the TV Toastmasters family at the contact information at the bottom of the screen. You can also find us on the web our website is 7512.toastmastersclub.org. Hi, I'm Deb Hart. I'd just like to share with you how appreciative I am of being able to be a TV Toastmaster host. I get to share stories within the community, have people come on the show and educate the viewers, and talk about a subject that I'm very familiar with, and that's health. I encourage you to come aboard and be a part of our TV Toastmasters Host Club. It's fun. You'll have a good time. Have a story that others need to hear? Seeking an audience for your message? Have an experience that can transform the lives of others? Practice your message and perfect its delivery in a TV studio while creating content for regional, national, and international exposure. That's right. Get seen by an ever-increasing audience. Visit TV Toastmasters. Ken Coombs here speaking about TV Toastmasters. As an area director, I see more value in that venue than perhaps some of you do, so I want to share that. Providing a televised voice for District 7, its clubs, and their members not only gives people a chance to come here and get a project ticked off that says, speak on television, it gives contestants in an area contest or a division or a district contest at least a chance to come and practice and see what they look like. It gives people a chance to share an important message with the district, whatever that might be. So consider your next speech perhaps being on television. Not your 15 minutes of fame, but your chance to reach a broader audience. <laughs>
As part of TV Toastmasters, I am f helping to fulfill a mission to be the voice of various clubs around District 7 and in Toastmasters International. My home club is New Horizons Toastmasters, but I'm also part of this club because I believe in the mission. I believe that Toastmasters has a real true opportunity for many people to help improve their lives, to improve their personal lives, to improve their interpersonal skills. I truly am grateful to be able to participate to help New Horizons and other Toastmasters find their voice through TV Toastmasters that is broadcast through the greater Portland area and Salem area. I look forward to more opportunities to be the voice and to be the conduit of the voice of many other clubs and many other members of Toastmasters as I continue my participation in TV Toastmasters. Hi, I'm Eric Bergman. As a member of TV Toastmasters, I get to learn all about video production, running a TV show, plus I get to be on camera interviewing really fascinating Toastmasters who share their stories about their hobbies, their activities, and how they benefit our community. I also get to bring in members of my home Toastmasters club, We Toasted in Lake Oswego. They get to tell their stories and build their communication skills. We're bringing a voice for District 7 Toastmasters here in Oregon and Southwest Washington to a TV audience. And TV Toastmasters is a great way to learn how to spread your message and share your stories with the wider audience. Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Taylor and I'm with TV Toastmasters. My home group is Feedbackers in Beaverton, Oregon. I first joined Toastmasters for a couple reasons. I was nervous. I had trouble speaking in front of others. I needed some help. And when I joined Toastmasters, not knowing what to expect, I learned several things. One, it gave me the confidence to speak in front of others. I learned how to take constructive criticism. I benefited from that. That benefit was the confidence to get a job. When I took the suggestions in the club, when I started speaking in front of a group and remained speaking through my role, doing table topics, getting topics that you're unaware, learning how to th think on your feet, learning how to speak on your feet. I first started working managing the Berkshire Hathaway account. I started as a back office role, not the face of the company. It didn't take long until I was dealing directly with the executives. Today I give executive briefings for Verizon Enterprise in the highest level in the enterprise space. And I'm grateful and I owe all of that to Toastmasters. Thank you. I joined Toastmasters to improve my speaking, listening, communication, and leadership skills. Toastmasters gave me incredible confidence. 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 Great listening skills. Poise. Great leadership skills. Leadership skills. The ability to speak in public. Strength. A captive audience. Quality feedback from the more experienced Toastmasters. Toastmasters really helped me improve my listening skills. Sales skills. Opportunities to go to different groups and widen my whole horizon. Toastmasters has given me a better, a more focused me, and I'm a much better listener. Toastmasters is fulfilling. It's a great place to fail your way to success. Wonderful way to meet people. Networking. Strength. It's addictive. It's a club of self-improvement. It's an experience, it's a ride that you won't forget and you'll enjoy it every step of the way. Toastmasters helped me land a kick butt job. I sang at one of my table topic speeches and people liked it and applauded. My business is doing great and I'm very, very grateful to Toastmasters. It's been a great experience for me. Thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Toastmasters, for giving me so much confidence. Thank you, Toastmasters, for everything.